I think um, the overarching theme here is, mi is miscommunication mm -hmm. and dishonesty. And uh, I'm about to like give you guys a remedy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, guys, go for counseling. Mm -hmm. Because... Oh, you go for counseling? Yes, no, I have. And you don't go for counseling when things are thick. Mm -hmm. Even when things are good, oh. you go. So okay, that good. you consistently grow together. Ooh, a man who's in touch with his fellow. Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Over 25. <laughs> yes, um, as you can see today, we have been graced by the presence of three very handsome, beautiful, tall, dark, some dark, some not, um, men, <laughs> some bald, some not. <laughs> um, I'm going to allow them to introduce themselves before we begin this very hot, spicy and sizzling episode. All right. I will start with a beautiful gentleman behind me. Please introduce yourself. What's your name? Who you is? Is you single? Is you? Is you not? Like, what's up? What's your number? What's your sign? All right. So my name is uh, Bright Gameli Maudo. Most people don't know the last one. Um, I'm a cybersecurity engineer by day and meme lord by night. <laughs> um, and um, what? I'm a martial artist as well. I am married. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting um, life turning around. Um, yeah, that's just about me. I'm a. That's very simple. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Ooh, That's Bright you. Gameli. Thanks yes. for having me. Yes, I will leave his we leave everyone's um handles on the description box of this video so you can follow them. He really is the meme master. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you follow Bright, you either know or you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um and then our esteemed bold headed um bold headed BN. Hey. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. First of all, guys, I'm just so thrilled to be here. I'm starstruck. Oh. Yeah, being in over 25 what? has been a dream, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we made it. And you guys know I'm a fan, man, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm a deep fan. Uh, actually, for the people who are watching right now, you need to know, I have actually gone to school with all these girls. Yeah. And uh, I, I've known these girls since high school. Yeah. And you guys... Uh, you you, you don't even Shiv. remember. We met in Rongai. I've known Shiv. Shiv. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Me and Julia go Rongai deep. Yeah. And then me and Shiv go primary school deep. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and me and Bright go, like, we know each other on social media. Yeah. But it's been like 10 years of me seeing his memes. <laughs> but that said, man, like, you know, I'm a, I'm a husband. I'm a quarter of a group, Saudi Soul. And I'm just so happy to be here, guys. Thank you yeah. for the opportunity. Yeah, Saudi Soul is the biggest band in the world. In Africa. In Africa. Yeah. And I'm, the world. I'm saying this for those of you who might not know this. We have people yeah. who watch us from outside Kenya, outside yeah, Africa. Yeah, so please check out Saudi Soul. Last but not least, the gentleman on the right who looks like, what's his name? Kukamanga. Kukumanga? <laughs> you know the guy, the villain? Kukumanga. No, the villain um, from oh, Apan oh, Black Panther. Killmonga. Killmonga. Yes. She even said Kukumanga. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't watch cartoons. So, oh, yes. <laughs> um, yes, yes, yes. No, we're digging this look. All right, please introduce yourself and welcome to Over 25. Thank you. Um, uh, my name is Shivarenja Simani. It's good to be here again. Um, I think this is the third time. Yeah. No, no it's, it's more than that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, father, husband, um, trainer, social media influencer. Friend to everyone here. Yeah. Um, let me just say, Emma knew Bright was a serious guy until I knew what he did. I just used to see his memes and yeah. die. <laughs> till I saw what he did, I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, otherwise, it's a pleasure to be here with everyone. And uh, yeah. Welcome. Experience. Welcome, boys. Today it's over 25 plus yeah. <laughs> edition with yeah. the boys. All right, so, and of course, my, my no. friends, our friends, we have to introduce ourselves real quick. Julia? Oh, uh -huh. Lonzi. 
Chiki. Just Ivy. Yes. Today's topic, I'm going to introduce it, but just so you know, we are here as the audience for the boys. Today, we are giving them the floor. We are, we, 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 we are trying to we are trying to have some balance in over 25. It's not every time women opinion. You understand? Mm. Um, and today's conversation is one about marriage. We are talking about marriage, but from the perspective of the male, okay? We know the male gaze is something that has been just discussed time and time again in reporting, but then it's good to always have their side of the story. Um, and what we're talking about is being a husband, all right? expectations versus reality, mm -hmm. all right? And also in the engagement process, before you get married and once you get married. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times for us, I mean, we hear a lot of women, women speak about these things. We talk yeah. about it with each other. Sure. We talk about it on blogs and vlogs, but then men, I feel like they don't really discuss their, mm -hmm. their, their, their shite. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Karibuni, <laughs> this is a space for you, all right? <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yes. It's a safe space. Yeah. All right, so, so um, let me start with that because this time I started with this side. Uh -huh. Shiv, uh -huh. expectations versus reality. Being a husband, marriage, marriage life. Um, please start, start us off. This I think is individual to every, to everyone because it first starts for me. It's how you were brought up and how you saw your folks' uh, marriage, and I think that's what. Um, your expectations usually are, yeah. you know, it's like, okay, this is what my, how my dad and my mom related to each other in their marriage. So this is what I expect to happen in my kind of thing, you know, that's kind of what you see and what you expect. But that's not always the reality, you know, you're a different person, um, person I married um, is a different person from my mom. So I would say expectation from reality is as such very light and simple. Taking dishes to the kitchen you know <laughs> it's like i i no it's not violence it's not violence wait it's a safe space <laughs> wait <laughs> for those who don't know shiki and shiv are married yeah. the husband and wife been together for like two yeah days. i never in my life so you know my dad takes his dishes to the kitchen so something my mom always did but you see, for us, it's different because we're different people. Because yeah. I'm the one who can't stand things on the table. Mm. So I'm constantly taking them away. So that's just a small expectation versus yeah. reality, I'd say. So what's the reality? That's what you're expecting. The reality is that me, I'm the one who takes them. It's not the wife who takes, them. Such, such takes the dishes. I put it on his and I wait for him to take. Because <laughs> she knows she can be there and she's okay with them. I look at them just like, <laughs> They need to go, yeah. you know, kind of thing. Okay. So that's just a small expectation, but uh, you know, it's this expectation versus reality, I'd say on a light note. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, we like that point. Yeah. Yes. Bion, Bion, how do you pronounce your name, brother? Bien or Bion? Uh, hey, my name, okay, my name is Bien Aime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like people just call me Bien from the beginning and it was the easiest. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. And you know, like also you realize that when um, white people pronounce African names, <laughs> They just pronounce them the way they want. Yes. Yeah, so you can call me whatever. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. not to get into that theme right now. Mm. Uh, the biggest expectation when you get married is that I'm now your property and my happiness is tied to you and your mom, man. Mm. You know, like, don't be out there even like being friendly with other chicks. Your mom, man, you know? But you, but like, you, yeah. you chill. Hey, 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 guys, easy self space you. Right? <laughs> My God! <laughs> My God! <laughs> okay, sorry, okay, okay. Okay, it's a safe space. <laughs> <laughs> I am, listen man, uh, I am my own man, guys. Okay. Yeah, I am my own man. And when you're with somebody, you're not meant to own them, you're meant to experience them. So I'm just here to say that to the people who are married, your person is somebody with this your person, <laughs> no, seriously though, your person is somebody you're meant to experience mm -hmm. okay. and allow them to also just grow, allow them to be mm -hmm. a little, not like you're not, now we are married, now I can't have, I can't go chill with my friends no more. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that people do. I, I see my, my, like, my friendship group, mm -hmm. so many new dynamics come into the picture once they get married, things that were not there even when they were dating. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. it's true, we've had that. And, and, and you know, like right? everybody yeah. comes with baggage yeah. into a marriage. So this guy maybe is coming with baggage for, my mom used to do 
all kitchen duties and then you you're coming with baggage for me I'm, I'm, the, I'm, I'm the woman of the new decade nini, nini, nini. so you expect this man to be home all the time and split there they work with you and split everything with you yeah. it's allowed by the way mm. but i'm just saying like at that point yani like where you st- a guy stops having time for his friends you expect to do your dude to come for all your baby showers all your birthday parties <laughs> you expect your dude to dress up the same as you and take pictures <laughs> Yeah like there's just so many expectations that come yeah. and the reality is that okay I don't speak for all the dudes yeah. I just don't like that shit man me I feel like okay. I'm Dude. brought into this world and you cannot try my being onto your happiness but when you were dating yeah. was that expectation there you see now the reality is that whether you agree to there's things you agree to that there's things that were deal breakers for you when you're dating yeah. that were not that, that are not deal breakers for you when you get married Okay. And yeah yeah well, like for example mm-hmm. I'll tell you the truth yeah. after you you with your angel I'm okay I don't mean to speak for you let me speak for myself mm-hmm. <laughs> after I've been married to Chiki for 40 for 30 years yeah. I keep expecting that this Chile and I'm the only dude this Chile is going to be with yeah and like if somebody tells me at you if 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 she goes and she meets the love of the crush of her life maze jibambe beb Okay. Hey, that's kitu watu wanani kuota hapo kwa blogs at SGO. This guy is <laughs> yeah. open. I'm not in an open relationship. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not in an open relationship. Yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah. But I think But all I'm saying is yeah. at that point the deal breaker for me is not even sex. Yeah. The deal breaker for me at that point yeah. is trust. Yeah. Yeah. It's the businesses we built together. Yeah. It's the different things that we built to solidify to show that our love has gone that so far. The mm. So the yeah. dynamics will keep changing. Maybe today today ni vyombo vya meza. In fact, I'm going example poor una sasa zingine tu yani umeka kwa keja the deal breaker hiyo siku the deal breaker ni kwa relationship mob ni umsa mechit sasa mm. zingine deal breaker ni maze this chick is breathing next to me and yeah. a killer yeah. this chick is breathing next to me you know? <laughs> do you know i think i get what you're saying yeah, yeah like this things do, change things do change you and you change as a person yeah, but so is, no is. one person can own a human being mm. and vice versa as well i don't own my wife yeah she's her own woman yeah. if she wants to wake up and go to brazil tomorrow i should be just able to see oh so when can we meet how can we be working together mm. in relationship yetu tuone kama tunaweza sustain ito iko iko kwa yoni ni sikuati my man hey me my man <laughs> but you know it's funny because i'm hearing a lot of that nowadays like more da- now people you know because these things were happening but then people are still pretending at the front that mm. everything is perfect yeah. Mm. yeah but at the back like people mm. were still like what? you know you know what? i don't know what i'm trying to say that should not be a reason for them to cheat though. it's not yeah because, because some people use that as a reason as a reason to cheat yeah. but you see you have to also understand what are the what are the param- what are the needs of your marriage mm. because at the end of the day yes it's true is it for for 60 50 years you can't say you've never not been attracted to Someone. somebody yeah. else the, the yeah. impulse to act is a different story yeah. now that's you and your partner to decide yeah. yes the, the boundary yeah. yeah i like how he started and said we're supposed to experience each other like mm. you're not really it's not at you now you're supposed to be a husband ufunge macho ufanye nini yeah mm. but me i find that hard to swallow because me you know we are saying here nice but in real life you know we'll talk and say yeah that's actually so practical but being in real life if i'm ma- then if you're if you're my husband mm-hmm. then just call me let me call you our husband or what because I agree, i'm your husband yes. yes but you know the my the the, the element of tagging all your happiness to your husband mm. as a woman yani yeah, especially women make these sacrifices more than even dudes yeah, i think also yani as in as in yani this dude is your everything at eh tuko na yani kona in the weekend you want to be where he is you are, yani like yeah. hey you're not even doing yeah. it it gets tiring of course yeah and me because me i hate it when i'm dating somebody who is not their own person they don't have their own you have to find own. things to do with your life trust yeah. me somebody who doesn't have their own life it becomes a burden on you yeah, yeah exactly. their I mean, happiness is tied to you yeah. so today where are we going what are we doing you know yeah your life should be yeah strong. i think yeah that's quite the, the thing of this is my man because i feel like ladies say that a lot more it's like mm. i now own you know because yeah. that's how sometimes a man would feel like, like this is man. my man <laughs> Really would a man say this is this is my woman he would we would yeah, yeah i mean this is my wife this is my wife yes yeah. but it's like it's like an ownership thing it's like you know you know it's almost as if marriage has been made to look like it's the crown is the crown jewel and then chiles go like you know like flossing yeah, yeah i've bagged the man yeah. so like it's my man completely agree yeah. Yeah. that that yeah. that attitude that that but my man that's what i'm saying guys mm. hey that thing by the that way because it's how we 
we've been socialized as women Are that they? you know growing up marriage is your you know it's the step it's you're goal. born you know you go to school like you it's yeah. the goal you know finding a good man yeah. and settling down with them wow. so yeah unfortunately we need to be and even guys coming with expectations you know I'm not even talking about the my man attitude even like even vice versa for us you mm. know like expectations that a woman should be like this no mm. because you know we are in a very uh, we're, in a, we're in a different time I usually say yeah. yeah our our parents were in a different time ask us in a different time in the sense that we are we can make global money but we can afford help here at home mm. and those things also now you wonder now like how much do, is my husband involved with the kid does he mean he loves the kid any less if he's not at home all the time for chiles it's this guy has to be home where is he yeah and that's oh, a big that's nice. Likewise, even for uh, uh, no, no. Listen, 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 listen. So even do that. You didn't remember that. Who didn't remember that? No, it's okay. But wait, we have I'm giving you a typical situation. But anyway, so, so. <laughs> yes, yes. What do you mean in the looks of tea? Yeah, because some you also bright wanted to say. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I mean, there's there's this thing we have which is called assumptions, and I think a lot of us or a lot of people in marriages when they get married or even. They to have a lot of assumptions that certain things are supposed to go certain ways, mm -hmm. only for you to get into it and realize that no, we actually need to balance those with with the reality of things. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, people find it so weird that my wife knows details about me, and I give her the, all the, the liberty to know. She knows where I am. She can track down where the car is. She can even stop the car if she wants to. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, I want yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. She can. I want to <laughs> I mean, she can she can stop the car if she wants to. The reason why I gave her that liberty is because she does not stress me about where are you, when are you coming home. She doesn't call unless there's a need, unless there's a necessity that I have to be somewhere that we agreed on. Otherwise, you know, I had to. So, but there's, but I came from a background where in my in past relationships is. Where are you? Yeah. Who did yeah. you talk to? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. So I, that, that's where I'm trying to add on to what she was saying. Um, that I think we had a lot of us have a lot of assumptions. Mm -hmm. So we assume so much. And then we get shocked when things don't go the way we want it to. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. I like that. I like that. Because at least it shows that he doesn't have anything to hide. Yeah. Yeah. And I even wanted to add something. Sometimes it's not even so much that the woman doesn't trust you, yourself. Yeah. It's other women. It's the other women yeah. who can. Um... May I have a question? Yeah. <laughs> Before uh, you even ask, Bian, let me just give, give a disclaimer, guys. Um, if you can tell that the sound has changed a little bit, it just started to rain. It was a hot day, as you can see. Yeah. It just started really... to rain, and we are kind of in an indoor outdoor space. Yeah. So there's a bit of a psh, white noise. Those mm. are blessings from God. It is raining. Mm -hmm. Just FYI. And I've not heard our Jogo today. Do you think they ate yeah. it? Because Bian is here. Oh, be an edit. Waluya. But you're not going to have a really No, they are so quiet. No, but I'm just asking this question. Uh, you know, like uh, I, I read someone, this is not to say that, uh, you know, uh, it, it's happening in my life, but yeah. I read somewhere that if you're in a relationship as a lady or as a man and you find yourself calling, your partner many times asking where they are, mm. it's because you also, you also don't do trust yourself oh. in that situation. So like if you are in that place oh. where your partner is, you don't think that you would be able to resist the temptations that your, past, your partner is going through. Uh, so spot on. Yeah. So spot on. that's just the question I have. Is that, do you think that's the case? Because uh, yeah. there must be some truth to it. I've seen it happen, though. That's crazy. You know, that's crazy because I know when I've asked, yeah, yeah, now I'm just like, wait, do I? But sometimes I'm like, I ask where you are because but it's a mix of both. It's a mix of, I know I can be like, nah, no, I'm married. No, I have a wife. No, I have a wife. Yes, Sorry. but then I feel like in my past where, I, where I've been in situations where I'm asking, it's because I've seen how they are, how they respond to flattery. Yeah. And I'm worried when I'm not there to, I'm sorry, to it's true. When yeah. I'm not there to police, they'll just be like, okay. And then now I have, I have to start doing, the, now after that, it's a fight about damage control. It's mm. like, and me, I just don't like that. Another question. Yes, please. 
So you're saying it's about the flattery, and if you're there, you'll be able to cut it, right? Not to no. cut it, but yeah. to, to, you'll be able to control it, or, or rather, or, or they, they, they wouldn't be there as much, as much, right? More, yes, because exactly. you're there. So I have a question. Oh, trust me, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Ladies <laughs> don't care. Ooh, ladies just women. women. The ladies will be ladies. Yeah, I don't oh. think I'd be very shameless, but yeah. at least when, you, when, when I'm here as your babe, the way you respond, I don't think it's the same way you'd respond if I'm not there. Mm. Maybe yeah. if you're trying not to be rude, and then yeah. and then Hash will take it like um. I welcome like, you. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So me have a question, Shiko. Uh-huh. Don't you think mm. that your man uh. needs sometimes yeah. to flirt with chicks mm. just to remember how that shit feels? You no, know, you guys never, are completely yeah, 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 removing. Way. Relax, relax. <laughs> Just chill. Uh, so if a chick comes and starts like complimenting me and giving me, showering me with praises and everything, you know, me, I'm a musician. So people, be, people give me my flowers many times. Yes. Okay. So like if you're there and you're curbing me from getting my flowers, mm-hmm. then it influences how I like, how I make my art. Because me, I make my art from people mm-hmm. and I need that kind okay. of energy mm-hmm. in my life mm-hmm. so that I'm able to just continue doing what I'm doing best. But then, but, but why? But do you do you need to? There he is. Yeah. But do you need to? Do you need to? I mean, you know, I cannot control, and neither can you control advances mm. from people. Mm. But like, what I mean by even if you flat back in that moment, I won't be at peace. Mm. My issue is sometimes it can lead to texting, yes. and then now calling after hours, mm. and then you're flatting with this. From, you uh, from, it, it moves from that one time thing where when you're out somewhere and oh, you feel like this chick is cute and like alright, your eyes there, to now you're meeting her every two weeks or every week mm. you're calling her for your she's part of your party mm. and so for me that's where the issue is mm. because at the end of the day even me i feel nice when somebody else hits on me yeah you feel like it's an ego boost yeah. but i don't want this person to enter this circle that we've i mean this space that we have so that's my that's my be, fear are you allowed to be in a club with your girlfriends over 25 you've gone out yeah. and then there's a dude who's just on your case and he's just hitting on you. I know you have a boyfriend, Nini, but he's just like, yo, he's just like, he's, he's consistent. Yeah, persistent. that's okay, but then... So they, is that okay? Th- that's or? okay, because I can't help, you can't help you him can't hitting help. on me. Mm. And sometimes, and yes, I'll probably flat back, because, you know, I'm feeling cute yeah. in that moment. Mm. But the problem is, mm. sometimes now from there, you're like, here's my number, or they DM you, and then mm. like, you start a relationship. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be a relationship where you talk every day. This is a chick maybe you only see once every two months mm. or three months, but when you... I mean, those are the things I'm just like, you have to cut it you because have to cut because it. because because have to cut it. because just because you're married does not mean your feelings die yeah the thing the thing now is the control I'm exactly. a, but me i'm single i mean i'm not married yeah. so maybe that's why yeah. i don't but know. no jules you're right the power of human connection you can meet a babe right now when you're fully married yeah yani somehow your energies just match just mm. you need to know to cut it because hi bien as soon <laughs> as soon as you start talking yeah. like you're you'll feel that energy you need to cut it there because if you continue two months later text Sex in a year, you'll find yourself at a, you're hiding trying to go see this person, and you, don't know you, you just there. cut it and you don't know how you got there. I may just think that marriage is that institution that doesn't allow you to make hot friends anymore. I don't. Are you allowed to make hot friends? You can have hot friends, but you have to have boundaries with these hot friends. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. The boundaries. That's, yeah. I don't know. I feel like Bian and I would have the same type of marriage. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing him mm. in that um, for me, communication is key. Mm. If, if you, and I said this in an episode, if you're attracted to someone, mm. say, mm. we are not dead. We are married, we are not dead. If you say this person is hot, Discuss it with your wife. You never know. Your wife might tell you. See, we try. Mm. Nowadays, marriage yeah. is what you make it. Exactly. This true. thing of just saying, cut, stop. It, it puts a man or even a woman in a position to now want to cheat. I, I, yeah. I prefer that, that option of... Huh? Yeah, I prefer the option of saying, ah, oh, man, I think yeah. I find this babe hot. Okay, so what do we do here? Mm. As opposed to cut, Hiding, stop. Yeah. Uh, you see, no. Why are you finding her hot? Can I be honest with you? Why is she hot? But the thing, I think yeah. I see it in my husband because I also agree with that a little bit. I'm also, marriage for me scares me. That till death do us part. Mm. And there's a part of me that goes like, come yeah. on. Even monogamy. <laughs> even yeah. monogamy. We are human beings. Even, Our even, brains. Even, 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 even monogamy. Stage. Even monogamy has its its okay. issues because people grow. Mm. And just because I love this person doesn't mm. mean I can't also 
love another person. Exactly. But yeah. this is my thing. Me, when those things start being introduced to the relationship, I want to feel secure in the relationship. Yeah. Yes. So I don't yeah. want us, we are like, we've just started dating eight months in, a year, and then we're, uh, or just early. Mm. And I, so Maybe, when even I if feel, it's not early. Even, yeah, it's, even early. if it's not early. So yeah. when I feel secure, mm. first of all, security not will look like Somebody come and tell me, yo, babe, I mm. think I am this chick. What do you think? If that, mm. if that relationship was not secure in itself, that yeah. conversation would never happen. Yeah. Yeah. So first and foremost, I want to feel secure. Yeah. Yes. So that even when, if, if a cheating happens, which is very common, it's not like, it's overdone. Pocket bags, there's room to discuss. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm. Me, that's not my issue. You I, never, I have never gotten to a place in a relationship because I've never been in a long-term relationship. Mm. So I don't know. I, 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 what I'm craving in my life is that feeling of, this person is mine, mm. we are good, and then eventually we can open up this conversation. Mm. Because I've not had that yet. Mm. Like, I've not yeah, had a chick with chick. I think yeah. it starts from dating. Yes. My wife and I, yes. when we're dating, mm. when, we see, when she sees someone hot, she says it. Mm. Point blank. Mm. That guy is hot. And I'm mm. like, hey, okay, he's handsome. Mm. <laughs> you, know? you, say, you can say somebody is hot, but can you say I'm attracted to them? No, yeah, no, no. So me? when I see someone mm. who looks who looks hot, <laughs> I, ex I I'm like, hey, that chick is she's fine. You know, those ones of, yeah. and we we discuss it from there. We move on with life, mm. but we don't go even if we're in the same setting. We don't go further of trying to make my, my when we're dating the girlfriend at the time uncomfortable. That I'm at the party yeah. that I'm spending so much time with this one I this I exclaim that she's hot mm -hmm. yeah. and I'm spending yeah. half the time with her mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense now that will make a, a feel uncomfortable of yeah. obviously yeah. you know so we established that from a very long time mm -hmm. unless it's part of your agreement where you're open uh, open because what, you, what you're describing is just monogamy mm -hmm. saying, saying somebody is hot is not an issue yeah. I don't think that's the issue the, the, issue. the, the issue is now you, you find harder. you find them hot and they, you know because I can find you hot yeah. but you can also be attracted to somebody you have develop, you know you can develop feelings for somebody before you talk to them because you're attracted to them. Yeah. So now that's where now the that's contention it. is. Yeah. That's where the contention is. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Bright, um, what, tell us something about that uh, reality versus um, expectations. expectations when it comes to marriage money. and or engagement. Money, money, uh, money. Let's talk about money, money. guys. <laughs> <laughs> you think when, when you are getting married or let's say get, even getting engaged, Mm. Um, the cost is all going to be yours. Because now I grew up with my father taking care of everything. Mm. My dad is like, my mom, I'll take care of everything. This is how my, I, my, my dad even says, I'll give you this amount of money. Just chill. Mm. Mm. My mom is like, no, she wants to do something. Mm. Mm. Then, <laughs> so there's that expectation that it has to be like that. And then you start getting into marriage and you realize you have to start sharing. Mm. Cost sharing. Mm. Um, my wife says, like, I'll take care of the house helps, I'll pay for this, I'll pay for that. You take care of, you know, this. Because I do earn, naturally, I do earn more than her. Mm. So, and we know how to balance our weight. So, this, this part of other costs that we don't usually discuss, mm -hmm. which is the day you get engaged. Mm -hmm. The day you propose with that ring mm. is a marathon. Because families will start coming in and say, so when is the next step? Mm. Yeah? I got two weeks notice. Eh? <laughs> like, oh. so, oh, what? <laughs> no, as in the ones of like, yeah. they're excited. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's excitement yeah. rather than even uh, pressure. Uh, like, okay, so when is the next step? What are we doing next? Mm. And, uh, Russia, when is it happening? Mm. And uh, by that time, you have so many other variables. Mm. We had, a, we had we're, we're expecting a baby at the time. Mm. But you have to take care of all those other things. And you always feel the responsibilities on you mm -hmm. to cater of as a man to cater of for everything. Mm -hmm. Only for you to realize that nah, you can't do it alone. Mm -hmm. You need the help of your wife mm -hmm. or your wife to be. Because the moment you finish with that, baby comes in mm -hmm. and there's pressure of buying everything. Mm -hmm. You know? So I realized also that sometimes, you know, things that I naturally would not buy for my, my daughter, mm -hmm. my wife would be like, nah, she's gonna buy it herself. You know, yeah. it's our own money. Mm. And that and in turn I get to like what she even bought. Mm. So that balance is is something we as we used to make an assumption of we will always take yeah. care of everything. Mm. But in the reality, I, I believe it have to be a, a collaboration that people have to share. Yeah. Yeah. So money is a very, very sensitive issue. We did mm. I discussed that with my wife openly. Mm. Yeah. Okay. This is our budget. Okay. Okay. This is what mm -hmm. we can afford. This is okay. how much it costs for the house, for mm. the shopping. So if we go overboard, but then we have apps that we use to say we're tracking. Mm. Okay. So if you've overspent, Whoa. we're like, okay, 
you know what we've overspent this month mm. okay we're gonna be going broke because we're saving we're trying mm. to have we have targets towards things we want to do in life mm. yeah and if we go overspent we're like okay now we need to chill out on party yeah for example. Mm. yeah you know, we're not gonna buy drinks yeah. ordering gonna out ordering out <laughs> 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 It's not that you cannot take care of everything, yeah. but it, you just like the idea of splitting it with someone because yeah. either way you both are learning responsibilities, yes. you're both learning different things. Is that what you're saying? Can I tell you something? I, I think he's saying he, he can't take care of everything. He's saying the expectation from women mm. is for men to take care of everything. And, and even he's saying the expectation was yeah. yeah. I think that's a cultural thing also. And can I tell you something which I find for lack of better words, very sexy. Mm -hmm. Where women take care of things. Yeah. Yeah. Trust oh, me, that, is, that okay. makes me like, <laughs> it only hits it you like, yeah, oh. yeah, you're like, okay. Like, but when a man is, is when a man is being relied on, yeah. to, mm -hmm. like, for example, my wife and I have a joint account. Mm -hmm. We dip in cash every month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not expecting her to put, I, of course, I want to do everything. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I feel like doing. But mm -hmm. she's like, no, she also chip in. Mm -hmm. Even though we're going to go to use the same account for stuff, mm -hmm. but that whole thing of being able to have a joint account helps us to be able to manage what we have set goals for mm -hmm. for the month. Mm -hmm. But when a woman is being able to do that, it makes you feel good as well. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. a lot of women more. more yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. So I buy. Can I always like to pay for everything? Mm -hmm. We go shopping. We go for 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 dinner. She's like, no, just the guy. I'm not the guy. But just, when just I had a discussion with some boys of mine some time back, and we we're saying, for the fact that the man feels like he's taking care of everything, he feels he has a right to, to be able to do things beyond yeah. the family, uh -huh. be able to cheat. Mm. Without being stay questioned, out stay out late. Yeah. Without being questioned, yeah. yeah. exactly. yeah. 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 because yeah. It's yeah. like yeah. after all, I do this. Yeah. After all, yeah. I'm the man. I am yeah. the one who brings the money. Um, yeah, and that's my struggle with the man taking care of everything. Yeah, I don't want to. Maybe okay. Even though you're saying your dad would give your mom a certain okay. amount. But I don't want to be asked, like if I say I'm going for my hair two weeks later at the IC you already went because mm. it's someone else's money. Yeah. yeah. That 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 for me is my worry when it comes to this one person taking care of everything. Because in the home I'll feel like I don't know. Like I don't have control. Yeah, yeah you have zero control. Much. Like you can't even leave that relationship. Because you can't where you, that's you have zero money. money. You don't know how to take care of it. And even, even if he cheats on you and it hurts you, like yeah, you, you know you're not right. Yeah, trust yeah. me guys, I've been questioned on this one. Like I'm always like, so which nails are you going to do and how much are they? I'm always asked, are you the one paying for them? Yeah. I'm like, I'm not. I'm just asking. I'm just like no, curious no, about my like, yeah, you know. If you want to pay for a nail, I'm like, are you the one paying for them? No, but maybe one thing was to pay. No, for I ask. Years. I usually ask, do you want to pay? Yeah, do you want to pay? Yeah. Oh, if yeah. he doesn't want to pay, then don't ask. Yeah, who are you asking oh, me? You're right. 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 curious about the price. Yeah. yeah. You know? See, you know your baby's looking nice. Yeah. Yeah. And she's paying for it. I'm just curious. But you're like expensive. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, so when you're arguing, that's the ammunition. You're the one who's here. Spending 5,000 on your nails. But you see, I'm just saying. When do you have this money conversation? Because even me, I'll be honest, um, before me and Chiki got like engaged, mm -hmm. we hadn't had the serious money conversation. You know, mm -hmm. for what do we want to do? Where do you want to go? In? Where, where, where do you see yourself living in the next five years? Mm -hmm. So that I don't make you live in this apartment for another five years and you feel like I'm not growing. Mm -hmm. And me, I'm thinking, ah, see, we are fine. We are, we are fine. <laughs> yeah. 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 So because, you know, it gets to a point, your appetite for life will increase in different ways, depending yeah. on how much money you, you all make, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, And if you're making more than your husband, which is actually the case in most households, mm -hmm. if you check out now, mm -hmm. like, very quickly then I your husband will outgrow you financially. You'll outgrow your husband financially, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, when do you have this conversation? Yeah, I didn't even, that's a good thing. In fact, I think the takeaway should be, have the conversation. Yeah. And what does the conversation look like? Mm. Because, you know, you can say, let's have a money conversation, but I don't even know what. Because me, I don't what know what. What do you discuss? Even us, we, we didn't. We didn't have any yeah, such thing. I think, I think, um, when you're dating, or maybe it's because we dated for so long, yeah. you kind of, I kind of had an idea mm. of, you know, the type of things I'm willing to pay for, the type of mm. things she's willing to pay for. And I could, I don't want to say read your mind, you can read my mind, but we kind of knew mm. that there are certain things I'm not going to do, and mm. there are certain things you're not going to do, and yeah. I'm willing to do, you're not willing to do. Mm. But obviously when we got into the marriage, it's like, okay, now clear cut. Yeah. You're paying for, you know, this, 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 and yeah. it's like that till now. Yeah. 
yeah. you're paying for you know the help the this the mm. food the that mm. and i'm paying for the rent the this the that the that and it's yeah. clear cut however yeah. you know you know how much you're earning and you know mm. we're, um, we're both entrepreneurs so it's just like some months are good some months are bad yeah. and for me also growing up in a household where my mom and more yeah. for a very long time you know so i've always been comfortable with a lady paying a bill mm. i don't for me it's like personally i want to do it but if she's comfortable doing it i'm like easy yeah. you know it's like not a big deal for me it's like well, whatever it's like <laughs> Exactly, you see, it's also a cultural thing and how you're brought up. Mm. For me, yeah. it's like, I don't care who pays the bill, we've paid the bill. Are we splitting? Yeah, no, are we able to yeah, pay? Because you know, when, kind I of thing. when I take you out for lunch, you still want to, let me buy the drinks. Yeah, like, I always want to do something. Yeah, yeah, it's like, okay, me, I'll buy the drinks, you buy the food. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay splitting. I'm yeah. okay paying the full. I'm okay with her paying the full. I really don't care who does it. We've paid the bill, we're happy, we're going home, kind but of it, thing. It means you're yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 some guys are not okay with that. Yeah, I feel like, like she's gonna look at me yeah. badly, yeah. you yeah. know. So we we always feels like uh uh-uh, no, she's gonna look at me like I'm a weak ass. Mm. Ah. Sex. But it took me a while for me to get used to my wife paying for things. Mm. But yeah. That I come home, guess what? She's shocked for me, different kind of shirts which she knows I like. Mm. Like I didn't buy this, yeah. But she noticed my type. Mm. Naturally, I'll be like, no, how much did it cost? Yeah. And now you're trying and now I'm to like, that. Okay, I'm like, yeah. I'm going to try out, I need to get her. You know, like, no, 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 not even that. Oh, I want to pay her back. Yeah. You know, yeah. so that's the kind of thing I, I think we grew up with. Yeah. But I got, it took me a while for me to get used to her paying for dinner. Yeah, because somewhere she's like, look, today I'm paying. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Or she's, or she, remember it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're so yeah. But I have to say about Shiv and Shiko, you 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 see how you're saying oh you dated for long, so you kind of knew whatever. Yeah. I just want to I just really want to tell our followers. Yeah. Me, the way I see Shiv and Shiko, there's a high compatibility in that relationship. Mm. There are people who date for long and they are still fighting yeah. about yeah, yeah. yeah your, your level of compatibility is quite high. That reading minds, mm. some uh, people we know our some uncles and aunties we know are until today they're still arguing <laughs> about but, you know, yeah, we don't only treat mine. Sometimes it's just like I'm just like, hey, babe, me this month. Yeah, see. Z. Yeah. yeah. Even this rent. Yeah. We love to cheat me. Kind of thing, you know. Honesty. Yeah, just be honest. I'm just like, hey, this month, Nikuzi. But I know next month and the month after, I'm sorting us out for all these things. Yeah. So it's you just have to be honest about where you are and your current situation. Because this is a, your partner at the end of the day. This is your partner, not just your wife. Your, this is your life partner, you yeah. know. It's like a business partner. And this is a business. is a business of your home yeah. and your family and your love. I don't think there's anything as unattractive as... Um, a, a household where one member doesn't bring in any income. Yeah. So if, if it's the dude I, or if I, it's the girl, and even if it's the girl, for example, I cannot date somebody. Mm. If, if, okay, if you don't have a job and you're on the grind and you're hustling and you're doing this, I'll introduce you to guys. I'll, I'll make sure you have a hustle. But yeah. somebody who doesn't have a hustle cannot inspire me to hustle more. So to be very honest, mm. too comfortable. I, I don't think it's I can't, the hustle. I, I, I would never... The, the wanting to hustle. Mm, yeah. You may true. want to, but things are just not working yeah, out. Yeah, and I'm okay and with that. Yeah, man, that's okay. But if you just don't want to, yeah. you're just chilling. Yeah. You're just oh, chilling. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. like, yeah. I... Yeah. But you yeah, see yeah, the guys who I... like this. The guys who like this because no, of control. The control. 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 Oh, they have a control yeah. over them. Yeah. Yeah. Control. The, the actual men who say, okay, now when we get married, you have to stop working. Exactly. Yeah. That's and that's a, a yeah. I, I feel like it's a control thing. Me, I don't want to have to deal with them. Like, I yeah, give up my to... dreams because that is due. Hey, women, don't do that shit, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But they, I've talked to so many ladies mm-hmm. and they actually say the same thing. Mm-hmm. They're like, they lived in a life where the man takes care of everything. Yeah. So for the fact that when they want to go out, they keep on asking. I ask them, well, how do you feel asking somebody for money? For money. Every time you want to go yeah. out to have a yeah. drink. It's, it's so weird. Yeah. You know, yeah. having difficult conversations is something that people are not used to. Yeah. And I say, it's how you express yourself. So let, mm. my wife and I, we have a, we have a, a rule. We don't have uncomfortable situations for more than 10 minutes. Mm. Oh. If we are good, we, we, we sit down yeah. and we are done. Yeah. Yeah. If we're in a setting where there are many people, we'll step out. Yeah. Yeah. We'll discuss it. I'm uncomfortable mm. with what you have done here. Yeah. Having difficult conversations like, Honestly. okay, why did you talk about this? Why did you undermine me like this? Why did you talk about Why did you mention this? Don't mention it again. Yeah. I'm like, thank you. I have understood. 
if I have further conversations, we'll set a time for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But difficult conversations is something people need to get used to. Yeah, yeah. And, and create systems yes. around oh, conflict create. resolution. Like, oh, actually create yeah. a system. My dad used to have meetings. We used to have meetings with my dad. <laughs> my dad, I grew up in a household where my, my mom was, my mom is like, you know, or do whatever. My dad is very, you know. Systematic. systematic. Yeah, systematic. So if you want to discuss anything, it was always, okay, uh, we have to talk about what? Okay, let's, he used to open like he had a full, like a, this A4 <laughs> full scope. So he used to like, at the, um, okay, we can do it Thursday at 2 p.m. <laughs> and that's it's burning in here like, <laughs> all right, Thursday 2 p.m. Yeah. We'll, we'll discuss it Thursday 2 p.m. Should we discuss it in your room or should we go somewhere or should oh, wow. we, Whoa. that's how I grew up. Whoa. So it was very different. And my mom, it was just like, mom, you know, uh, we talk about anything. So again, how you brought up, I, I feel like, Ivy, you had a question. I have a question. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, the women you're speaking to here, I think we like working. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We like jobs. And I guess you guys have said you prefer a woman who is working. Mm-hmm. What if, for example, BN, Bright, Shiko, I mean, Shiv, your wife one <laughs> same day, same. it's the same thing, <laughs> dec- says, I want to stay home and take care of the children. Okay. Mm-hmm. What value do you three gentlemen put on non-monetary contribution to a home? Because, mm-hmm. yeah, because I'm like, wait, it's yeah. hard. There are times she can have discussed. Yeah. We wish we could, we were able to quit our jobs yeah. to stay home and not, not say that you guys take care of us, but is that something you would consider? Yeah. Can I start this? Can I start this? Yeah. I've actually yeah. proposed to Shiko very many times. Mm. I'd, I'd like her not to have to do anything because for me, I just want her to, you know, do whatever the fuck she wants to do mm. and take care of the kids and be happy. Because first, I've never been a fan of having a nanny and everything. She's not a fan of that. Mm. She, she's against that. But for me, having two kids, let me tell you something. Let me tell you my <laughs> It's a full-time job. It's a full-time job. Yeah. Yeah. It's an actual full-time, even one kid, it's an actual full-time the job. And running it's the home. so and running, much running work. Running the home. The kids and, it, running, and home. running the home. Because me, I don't know how much it is for the meat every week. I don't know how much it is for the nanny. I don't know how the kids' clothes. Because I, I, it just naturally doesn't occur to me to go onto Instagram and buy the shoes for the child because she's a size bigger mm. or to buy clothes and... I never understand. It, it's never... I don't understand uh, these things. It doesn't look hard to me. Mm. So there's yeah. so many things that she does that I'm just... Don't, I'm just... I'm not that I'm not interested. I'm not... I'm you always I'm not interested. <laughs> you know, it just doesn't occur to me naturally <laughs> to yeah. think of these yeah. things. It's a fact yeah. women, so we work more than I honestly... Yeah. I honestly... Yeah. If I yeah, could... More than men. But men, yeah, yeah. so we're working harder anyway. If I have a child and I'm running your home, I am working harder, yeah. more hours than you. No, I think you, we just have to first, you know, establish that it's not a competition on who's working harder. Okay. You know, it's not a competition. It's a fact. No, no, no. Ivy, Statistically Ivy, saying. it's not a competition on who's working harder, and it's a fact that one person is working harder. Everyone is working as hard as they can for this relationship. Wow. I don't think we should really peg this on you're working harder because. Okay, yes, you're breastfeeding. Yes, you're the one who's mainly waking up at night. Yes, you're the one who's doing all this. However, I am... (laughs) However, I am trying the best I can, you know, to make sure, you know, we you know, we have everything we need in terms of whether it's a car, mm. whether it's a house, whether it's a what, whether it's insurance, whether it's a what. We're both working hard in... We're both in our way. I think, I think and I think we just need to respect each other. Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. Each when, when, when my wife household. wakes up at night because of the baby, I wake up too. We have to both be awake. Mm. Mm. But is that so practical if, for everybody? If you're going no, to work the next day, some people... Ha- well, we are both going to work the exactly. next day. Yeah, I think it's you know, situation. Yeah, just say, I, I just say no, think there's different so love cute. languages. <laughs> And some people show their love yeah. by some people show their love by yeah. being there with their kids the whole day. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you an example. Like I haven't seen Polycap enough mm. ever since Polycap got a baby. Yeah. And then Amanda and uh, his baby have now gone to Burundi. Yeah. And on Saturday, me and Polycap went clubbing for the first time in like five years. Like it was a long. I like, it felt like forever. <coughs> so like that's his style of being a dad because he was like, hey, he me wants to be hands on completely. Yeah. But now, if, if your husband speaks a different kind of love language where they have to be on the road to make money mm. so that they can put you and your kid in a better position to be, you know, mm. then I don't know, I don't know how you quantify that, but I, 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 do, I do agree with you, Ivy, that 
that monetary um, compensation has to be given to you as a woman. Mm. If you're chilling home, I'd, you I'd keep pay, the whole I'd, I'd, If I could, I'd pay you up monthly sorry for everything you need plus yeah. more you yeah, know man. and i'm okay with that i'd be okay with that but will you keep tabs will you keep tabs on no i don't i wouldn't keep tabs on what you do with your money okay. you do what you want to do with your money yeah. okay because mm, upon divorce it's very me shiko can say this is what i've contributed to the home and yeah. so you take half your money yeah i'm just letting you guys know I like mean, always remember the non-monetary I mean, contribution that, that is made yeah. both by the man and the woman in yeah. a relationship i think it differs from home to home yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. My wife and I give the same attention to our baby okay. as much as, I mean, as much as when she's there, there, I'm there. Mm. When I'm not there and I'm going for some very serious meeting that I have to be at, mm. then it's fine. But when I'm working from home, which yeah. is half the time I do work from mm. home, mm. when I have a break, I come down with the baby. I come to stay with yeah. the baby. That's mm. well. If she's working on, from home as well, yeah. she'll come down. Yeah. If there's a day that she has to go to the office, because mm. yeah. uh, she's, she's an entrepreneur, yeah. but she goes to the office, and I'm at home, mm. then I play that part. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, yeah. but some houses, you find out their man is in meetings 24-7. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he he can't. Oh, I okay, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Me, I've been there where I've been, so a guy is yeah. there with a newborn, there's a newborn, yeah. and we, I was there, and then now he was like, the baby started crying, yeah. and the wife was in another room. <laughs> and he's like, um, Chico, baby crying. Hi. Oh, yeah. Those Hi. are the words. Hey. Okay. Baby, he was like, busy. And that's a bit of Baby yeah. crying. Yeah. yeah. This is and that's most life. men, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. Imagine yeah. it's yeah. true. Yeah. Imagine it's true. Even there's an ex I dated who told me, he's mm. like, because he used to be so sensitive about everything. Mm. And I was like, but what happens when I have a baby and the house, he's like, his house can never be hot. Mm. Windows are always open. You guys yeah. know this guy. Yes, mm. I and I used to be like, but wait, what if when we get a baby, you know how, Back time the room has to be yeah. And I was telling him, me, I have a sibling who's 10 years my junior. So mm. I was very aware of what was happening mm. when, when she, like I could see yes. what her birth or her coming to the family did yeah. to the family, like yeah. change yeah. the house. Mm. Yes. Even the, just the tidiness, there's the confusion all the time. Yes. Mm. So I was like, what happens, mm. you know? And he was just like, me, the kind of money I'm making, yeah. you need to separate, like there'll be a line in the house. Like this side, can, he has his life has to be the same. Mm. And there are a lot of men who are like that. A lot. That's a Even thing. modern day, that's a modern day yeah. man yeah. who was like, I don't think that's No, I'm saying he, what I, what I mean is, what I mean is, no, 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 hear me out. Women are yeah. Hear me out. What I mean by modern day is he's born in modern times. He might yeah. have a okay. traditional thinking, but okay. I mean he's a modern. Yes. So I'm saying in this space we are in, where men are evolving, yeah. there's still a lot of that yeah. patriarchy. I have to make sure. I have yeah. to make sure I change a diaper every day. Yeah. I do a feeding every day if I can. Mm. I put her down if I like. Exactly. I have to make Same. sure I do it because yeah, for me that's a bonding. Can that's I, a bonding I, experience. I, I, I need to know her. I want to know yeah. her triggers. What makes her happy? What makes her sad? Yeah. Everything because yeah. she's not going to grow up and just you know. I, I don't know. Hey, what makes this chick happy? What does she like? What exactly. does she, I want to know everything because this is my blood. Me go to one when you keep jogging. Una shikambi. Una kujanga home weekend. Discuss. When I when I'm home in the weekend, <laughs> your hands on me and the baby. Everything. Okay. Do the job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The problem oh, okay. that society brings about is that she's doing that. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. God. She is such a good dad, bright and she. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. It's the woman. It's your job. Yeah. You expected. Oh, you expected. Oh, what you say? Yeah. We are applauding. Mm -hmm. We are applauding. Mm -hmm. one day. Yeah. yeah. Which is but good. but don't you yeah. think it's a Okay. It's not okay. okay. It's very good to It's okay to applaud because. But, to to over but you no, we're not over glorifying. Yeah, yeah, we're just yeah. encouraging that to happen more. Okay. Yes, yes encouraging. Yeah, yeah, but I think, I think yeah. that's what hurts how I look yeah, at that. It's because yeah. in society, we have a lot of men who are not present. Yeah. 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 They are fathers and then they are dads. Mm -hmm. You know, there are people who just sleep with the woman, yeah, baby yeah, has been yeah. born. They are like, okay, now you have my kid, you keep it, I'll, I'll be sending money. Yeah. Sending 50,000 Kenya shillings, what, not, what uh, do you want her to do with that? African you know, what do you want her to do with 50,000 Kenya shillings a month? That is not enough to even buy the few diapers that mm. according to what age. Mm. You know, you have to be present. Baby has to grow, like you're saying. Yeah. You being present to know what triggers what is that baby allergic is, to and yeah, everything? You need to know your child. A lot of us, a lot, a lot of us, you know, a lot of, I don't know, me, I'm just going to say, like, because for me, my dad was, he's, 
he wasn't that kind of hands on like shiv hands on yeah. yeah. but he had his my dad never changed the diaper yeah even my dad has never changed the diaper but he bought the diaper yeah. so my my dad his, my dad i would say where i remember him so much in my childhood was like homework education yeah. like mm. you have an issue mom is like i don't know ask dad so it's like i knew okay this is mom's Yeah. realm this yeah. is dad's realm yeah, it's, it's the reality but as yeah. you grow also as you grow also the role of a, you know sometimes you're looking at because i think maybe we are on that in that stage of our life where our kids are young and stuff like that our mm. kids I'm, i mean your kids um, i don't know many kids <laughs> but um you know with time the role of a dad just changes like look at the william the Serena william and her sister mm. you know like or look at someone like louis hamilton that's what i'm saying like if you're working with a, a kid mm. who is invested in something like a sport or yeah. a special gift like a musician yeah then i'm telling you you that's when you see the best version of bn because bn is teaching ah, our daughter yeah. how to dance yeah. now if you measure yeah. bn's worth in the marriage but this nigga can't change a fucking diaper of course then he's a, then he's an idiot there he has failed yeah. <laughs> but now if bn is being if she is bringing to the table every day she is going and learning about fitness you know like the real the, the reality is a 10000 hours begin now yeah so That's just what I'm saying like okay. I know you can do it all though. Though. No 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 you can do it all you, and you should yeah. and you should you can change your diaper and you can still yeah. teach this child As, yes 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 yeah. Yeah. and that's you can you and let's change your wife made an agreement that you know she's never changing a car tire and you're never changing a diaper because the oh. households like that and they're very happy but they yeah. it's what works for you it's, it's, it's like a car tire mm. yeah but <laughs> i don't <laughs> expect you yeah, 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 you see yeah, yeah, however yeah, yeah, ivy if you're changing the tire i'd be pissed because now you'd expect me to change the diaper and we've agreed we're not doing that and we're happy like that there are people who are like that and yeah. i think it's okay Mm-hmm. I think it's okay. I think you write the constitution for relationship. Yes, genuinely like yeah. this is how it is and we're happy with it. Mm. If if you're pretending then that's now on you, you see. Yeah. But if you're genuinely happy like these are the clear cut rules. I don't expect you to call an insurance guy and ask him about this. That's me. Mm. Why did you call him? You know, kind of thing. But now you don't ask me now. The house of the CCG what 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 what, what you know. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to I'm not going to ask her what she you get to learn your partner yeah. you get to know what the clear cuts yeah you be you be surprised in the house people will think I'm the techie so I should put things together yeah my wife does yeah, yeah. even my you bet she's that she wants to be the one to screw things together she wants mm-hmm. to be one to I don't know adjust things and connect what wire and I'm like you people will think I should supposed to do that yeah she orders gas yeah mm-hmm. Guys, if you ask me, I would drive to the petrol station to buy. Because yeah. she is like, uh, I know how to order, and they'll bring it. I'm like, bro, okay. So there, just it just has to be difficult conversations to be had in the house. Yeah. You have to have, and have that compromise of this is what I can do. Yeah. Are you comfortable? Yes. This is what you should do. Are you comfortable? Then we agree to that. Okay. So she has one more point, but I think. Okay, maybe you can add them to it. I just want to say one thing. Okay, go. <laughs> Tell us. For me, it's expectation. You know, you know when you're dating, when you see you don't you know you don't you don't live with this person. So every time you see them, they are the best. Yeah. <laughs> at, at, at their best. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say. <laughs> that's that. I was going to say. Tread. Carefully. <laughs> I was going to, this is a safe space. This is a safe space. I was going to say, it's, it's, both of you kind of expect yeah. to smash. Yeah. You know. Ah. Almost all the time. Yeah. yeah. Then, <laughs> you now live together every single day. Yeah. We And as a, as a man, I don't know if this is, a, this is for other men. As a man, you're literally ready every single day. Every time. It doesn't matter if it's morning, afternoon, evening. Ah, a- any time. Oh, wow. Stay ready. We're ready. You know. <laughs> literally. Literally, you know. And for ladies, you, you now get to realize, hey, it's different. Yeah. It's so different. She's in She's in street what mood. She's thinking about what, she's thinking about curtains. She's thinking, you know. Kumbe, when you were dating, these are the things she thought about at home. Then she came and she was ready. You know. But now you're together. You are ready. How she's yeah. thinking about hey, these curtains? Yeah. I think the air freshener needs to be there instead of there. You're just like I want a smash. So now you need to learn. You need to learn the mood. You need to read the room a lot, yeah. lot more. You need to understand how to slowly, you know, bait her and you know, you know, bring her in. Yes. You know, it's not just a hey, I've arrived. You know, because for a dude, literally, if if I'm in the room doing whatever, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. Yeah. If so, she walks in yeah. in lingerie like this, I'd be like, hey, 
on the side. So I'm ready anytime, you know. But for you guys, it's different. So yeah. It's like, oh, so you have to learn how to read the room. Read the room, read and, the room. And, and, and yeah, yeah, that's an expectation. Do you, do you yeah. know what that reminds me of? Do you guys yeah. remember that um, you guys did it actually? The, yeah. the trend. Who's that? Who? Nee, 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 nee. Apana, the one that where you, you're, you're going to give your one head. Oh, yes. And then you go for the and Every go guy was just like, everyone was ready. Yeah, All you're ready. Right. Right. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. It's, we're true. different, and you have to like now learn. Okay, oh, oh, okay. They're not yeah. but me. That, that didn't ever occur to me before I got married. You know, mm. you're like you think it's everyday thing. Yeah. yeah. But you're like, nah, she's not in the mood. Can you guys, yeah. you guys didn't live together before you got married. No, no kinda, but not not, 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 not really. Like, but much, 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 much later. later. You see, they were yeah. dated. Then by the time much, they were living together, the you had dated became. for what? And I was pregnant. There was oh, a baby so was coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was, transition. Yeah, I met yeah. my, I met my wife for one one and a half years before we we, mm. we, we, we everything moved very fast. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, which speaks to what the point I'm going to bring. Yeah. Living with someone, mm. you're used to living in your own space. You've mm. grown up in your own room. It's mm. just you. By now, instead of being in the basement where I used to stay in Riverside, I never yeah. had a thinking of well, why should I? Why should I move? Mm. Like the basement had a, right, a light reflecting from the other house. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only source of light I had. Wow. Are you okay? And I was, I was fine. <laughs> you didn't have a mirror. <laughs> but wait, seriously, I never yeah. had a mirror. The day I started dating, that she bought, she bought a mirror. I was like, what is this for? Just like. To see yourself, I'm like, but why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember how it's like a dry plant exactly. in the bathroom. You're like, what's this? So then oh, later, man. we started exactly. thinking, <laughs> you're like, like and, and, and the thing is, something that what that did to me, yeah. which I really appreciate about my wife until now, is to know the potential that I could have opened. Mm. I didn't know I could work hard, harder, yeah. to be able to upgrade myself yeah. Yeah. True. Oh. to a three bedroom. Oh. True. Uh, with a light where you're having horn bills right hey. in front of you. Mm. Right. Mm. You started from a yes. one bed. Yeah, so later, yeah. you know, yeah. later I was like, wait, but baby is here. I see every time the baby goes to a machinate mm. or a bungalow, yeah. she's more free. She comes mm. up with new things. Mm. So you know what? I'm going to get what? A townhouse. Mm. So I I'm said, you know what? And I'm, I'm going to work, work harder. This is the next source of income. Yeah. This is where the, yeah. the extra cash is going to come and from. See, I mean, and that's what I was saying. It's like, you can't say that that's yours is higher than what, you know. Yeah. So Because we're also trying. Um, Wait, so, so I got, I got I'm pushed. I'm sorry. I, mean, I never yeah. agree with yeah. this. So okay. I got, I got you, pushed to that cool. level to be able to upgrade us to mm-hmm. a townhouse. Yeah. And there she was, t- and, but of course we had a discussion of what she can take care of yeah. and what I can take care of. Yeah. Yeah. And that balance was like, okay, you know what? Let's move to a townhouse. Mm-hmm. So there's that expectation of when we move in, it's just gonna be, to be fine, we'll be okay. That's the way it is. But the reality is there's so many changes that you keep learning your partner mm-hmm. every single day that Period A today, mm-hmm. how on the period, I'm um, technically, I'm mean, literally speaking, yeah. today is different from the next one. Mm. Yes. Yeah. She oh, can be okay. Okay. She can be okay with one today, <laughs> but the next three or three others, she is moody as hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We have three yeah. girls right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I keep, I keep making this joke, but let me tell you there's some truth in this. The day that they are all in Mature enough to have their periods. I know they'll sink. Our and they sink. <laughs> yeah. I'll be leaving for like two, three days. <laughs> that week. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> let me tell you. I I know. I like. I. Because now they all come in the house slamming doors. I just be like. Ah. <laughs> bounce, bounce. <laughs> I go shags three days she's, and she's, come back. Hey, throwing things. Hey, yeah. may just think. Oh, uh, I'm throwing things. <laughs> <laughs> so I was about to say that I, I think um, the overarching theme here is is miscommunication mm. and dishonesty, and uh, I'm about to like give you guys a remedy. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, guys, go for counseling mm-hmm. because. Oh, you for counseling? Yes, mm-hmm. I have, and you don't go for counseling when things are thick. Mm-hmm. Even when things are good, oh. you go. So okay, that good. you consistently grow together. Ooh, oh, man, in touch with this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. I did, but also like you know, I mean, I'm a big believer in talking to our life coach. So the soul has goes for counseling. The four of us because mm-hmm. so the soul is a man. Yeah. It's, it's a dynamic. It's I even told you guys, no, if you want over 25 to survive yeah. for the next how many years, mm. 
you guys have to go for counseling. That's the only thing. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot. Where you go and the boss says, "Yeah, this is your marriage." So this one is my first marriage. In fact, Chiki is my second wife. Yeah. My marriage right now, Chiki is my second wife. My first marriage is Saudi Soul. You know, and even sometimes there's conflict between my wife and Saudi Soul things because I could. Like when, I'm, when, I, when I get an investment opportunity, yeah. I'm like, we can do it with Delvo. And when she's like, no, that's for us. I'm yeah. like, I don't think like that. Yeah. But I realize, okay, then maybe I need to think like that, you know? Okay. This, but, you guys. Having a life coach is, is Having important. a life coach is important. It's important. I even, like, oh. having a life coach this late in my life yeah. makes me ask myself, what, how the hell? I was just winging it mm. all these years. Yeah. So yeah. I advise a life coach and I advise marriage, marriage counseling yeah. because yeah. you guys. Yeah. 90% of the tension that's building in your house yeah. is such a common trait in all marriages. Like that's when you true. go to see a counselor, yeah. they actually start laughing mm. at how stupid the things you're arguing about are. Yeah. Wow. So wow. that's the remedy. And then honesty in the sessions. Mm. But ladies, when you go for a counseling session, Leave what is there. said in that room Leave it has to stay there. Yeah. 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 Because then I, I realize, that one. dudes, I go there and I'm like, I hate this marriage. I want to get out, and that hurts your feelings. Yeah. And you're not there. You, you, you're not there. Understanding that when I say that in there, I'm saying that's what we can correct it. Mm. You're like, then that's how you want to say that in the car. It becomes something about hurting the, the other person's feelings now, more. Now in the car. It's yeah. Crazy. And then the car is quiet. The first time being cheeky for counseling, it was quiet in the car going back. <laughs> Of the, I'm so happy you guys actually went because of the honesty levels. Yes, you know. Levels. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's amazing. That's amazing. Ivy, mean, there's something you you were saying that um you told you and she were having a bit of a tiff about um you know there's this thing called invisible roles. There's invisible things that women do in the house. There's there's a whole podcast I listened to where this lady created a spreadsheet and women from around the world started adding to it like. You know, yes, those invisible tasks yeah. over and above the fact that they are their mother yeah, and they're also working, and they're also going to work. Also income. So I had you telling Shiv you're going to send him an article. Please send it to us yeah. or to Wanini who is behind the camera and she'll put it in the description box of this video. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I was about to ask that. Yes, but you see us are not invisible. I mean, what yeah, I don't understand why invisible tasks are those things. Invisible tasks are those things. You see, like now, what are na yo pesa even? You know, there are those things that in the house that. You don't understand that somebody is not managing mm. this, the, the so tomato sauce not to go down. Mm. 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 Who is thinking about the Christmas tree? Mm. Mm. Who is calling your mother ahead of time to tell her we are coming? Actually, three of us, not four of us. Who is thinking? You know, this. Mm. But it's the same thing. Like who locks the doors at night? Who makes sure that the dog has? You know, it's not a competition. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Contribution. That's what I'm saying. That's why. But I feel like that's what you're making it. I feel. I feel like you're trying to make it seem like you're not. That's okay. Mm -mm. We are coming. We are, we, both of us are speaking from a place okay. of ignorance. Yeah. Mm. So let's listen to that podcast. You read that article, oh. then we discuss. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because yes, it's not a competition. Mm. I mean, I'm sure there are invisible tasks on both ends. But yeah. the reason this thing was brought forward is because um, women who like who are moms yeah. at home, they yeah. are seen not to be doing much. Mm. And also, when it comes to separation, the in terms of compensation, yeah. the issue was that. You, all she brings in is this much, yeah. and this is all she does. But yeah. there's like this, there's a host of things that yeah. are, are being done behind the scenes that yeah. make the family. Yeah. But I'm not coming from that point from that of point. I don't think that they don't yes, do much. Yes. I'm just saying. Don't compete. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, I have to wrap this up because this is a very long episode. Yeah. But thank you guys so episode. much for being here. Very thank you, nice. Shane. Thank very you, Bien. Nice. Thank wow. you, Bright. And yeah. we hope you guys have enjoyed this episode as much as we have. Yeah. Um, we're probably going to have another episode with these guys. So stay tuned. Yes. And um, as per usual, if it's your first time here, please remember to subscribe to our channel over there. Yeah. If you've liked this conversation, give us a thumbs up. Give us your feedback as men, because this is a space now we want to hear men. Mm. A lot of you men watch us. We know you watch us, but you don't interact. You don't mm. comment. Yeah. Please give us your feedback so we can. The point of this is to create more cohesion between the female and male mm. relationship. Yeah. Yep. Okay? Yeah. All right, guys. See you next time. And see ya! Adios. Oh, lovely episode. Right. Lovely, 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 lovely. Hey! hey. Oh, it's only five. Subscribe.